Hi guys, it's me Ariel from Passion Community, and today it will be the first video back of my break of June 2024. So the first one will be is a Prince first Bride video, and the second back <laughs> to work video will be Animal Jam June update video. So there's gonna be is a Prince first Bride video in Animal Jam video, and there's also going to be the classic um, update which i'll post it as a short and not as a long video because i don't want to take i don't want to post too much videos for well i mean too much long videos for youtube so so push first here we go yeah as you can see i actually show some spoilers for going not spoilers but i actually show that I have more games on my phone so now I can play Let me check So I can play more games and record more things for the sunrise I'm just gonna take off my headphones but you actually hear some music So I'm not Really worried about it. Okay, so we're so I finished the um, floor is lava thing here, as you can see. Um, here we go, my everyday gift. Now we have the central disco um, tag time attack thing, and we'll have to get to the plant division, and then we're gonna do the uh, okay the thing. So when you're around some circles go for doing the uh, daily dip. So we're going to that first. I think it's the fourth uh, level. I'm going to look at the hands and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I'm back and now we're going to play. So I think this is a long level because you need to complete uh, the stage that it shows. I, th I don't think it's stage, but you have to complete what you, what you, sh what you see on the sign, like the DP on the sun. You have to complete that. I'm saying as it is on the right channel. I'm sorry, it just, it's in French. I play as French. Because I'm originally a French speaker. But I'm going to change the language to the game soon so that you guys can understand uh, what I'm doing and what this is for. Also, the coolest thing about the classic update because you have the uh, profile of the gamer now, so you don't see my film and of me, and that is what covered me. Because I was I was recording some videos on the voice of first and you guys actually saw my a couple of times my Facebook profile and I don't want didn't want to see this but I don't have control over the voice of first to see the Facebook profile picture and now I can just put the voice of this character which is cool because you guys don't see my Facebook profile anymore. You notice that you don't see it anymore when I'm surfing. Also, when the uh, second update of June will be out, I don't know which city, which city will go the next update. But a lot of people says it will be Los Angeles from the spoilers that we see on the internet. So yeah, I think it will be Los Angeles too. So. We'll just wait to see what will happen. Stay tuned. Also, the Subversive First Plus Angeles, well, the next update of Subversive First that comes after San Francisco, I'm going to do a video about it. It's probably gonna go out in the same week as the uh, Pride video one, but I want to get out on the second. I want to get the video out for July 
for the other update. Which is why I'm going to record a video in this and set this premiere for July. That will be good. Because in July will be the Summer Vibes uh, project. And I want to make as more videos as possible for this update. Because I want to try new things. And so Summer Vibes is the perfect time to try some things. Because it, it isn't a team thing. It's just some things that I want to do for the uh, summer. So that you guys can have extra content, extra behind the scenes things. This is some extra content for the things that I have in clothes. In the summer vibes, a lot of new things appear too that I haven't tried and they are there. So, there's also going to be a video that's going to talk about a certain small project that I want to do in my lives that I want to try out. Because this small project, there's a possible chance that I'll do more of this certain small project. I have already talked a little bit about it in the past project where I say that in Summer Vibes I'm going to do something, but I won't do it in details because I won't tell the details because I could change something in time and when I'm going to be sure about what I'm going to do, then I'm going to do a video about it. I can't just send something out of the blue in a video and then at the end it isn't this way. So that's why I'm actually not telling you what it is, but when I'm sure about what the project will be, then I'm going to do a video about it. So yeah, in Defense Our Vibes, this is going to be in all the videos. It's not going to be a blog about it, because I want this project to feel like a surprise for you guys. But just as you said, I actually said a little bit what I'm gonna do in Summer Vibes. I'm posting some extra content. Um, I'm also posting some extra things from other projects. That's what I'm doing in this map this year. I'm just going to say the certain thing, things that I'm certain that are gonna happen is that I'm going to go back on other projects like Star Universe, Media Space, and a little bit of Magical Nature. If you saw, if you so, a little bit of videos that has premiere for the summer vibes and the images for that. There's also with the Star Universe, Media Space, and Magical Nature extra videos. Yeah, but coming back in one year, one year later, I'm doing over Magical Nature videos. But there aren't gonna be a lot. I just want to make like a quick comeback to Magical Nature, but I don't want to do like a lot of things. Since I have a certain project for the future of 2025. Are you guys thinking, what? Are you already thinking of 2025? Yeah, I already do because I have some projects in mind for September, October, and December. Yeah, as you probably heard, there's going to be a break in November. Yeah, four months later, I'm doing a break in November. I think it would be good if I do that because with the summer vibes in the uh, over project I'm going to do after summer vibes, then then I need a break to actually figure out about Christmas and all the things too. On the break of November, I'm surely gonna take seriously this break. I'm surely gonna enjoy that. Because it will be a break for overtime videos. So this year I'm going to do uh, the, the jump break and first the November break to come. Well, it's nearly four months later, but I'm already talking about this so that you guys are in advance. So don't be really surprised about it. And sorry if you don't hear me much from this video, but I'm sure you're gonna so I'm actually saying that. So, the reason why I put some audio of myself talking from the uh so was the first gameplay is because I actually wanted to make a little bit of a vlog at the same time about what happened during my jump right? So what happened is that there's a lot of crafting that happened. Yeah, I'm a crafting person. I actually changed my room a lot. I 
changing my bed to place, I changed my shelf, and my TV place. I actually changed a lot of things in my room. And I did it for the best, but I did it for myself. Because I was feeling it's not okay with my room anymore, I wanted some changes. And I'm still working on my changes from my uh, bed moments. And I'm still thinking of things that I should put, you know? But right now I'm actually recording this video on June 9th. On June 9th. And you know what? It's but we're we'll ready for it when I'm going to come back on June 24th. And why four months after it will be one month of break? It's because, yeah, the time that I think about this. It's just, I wanted to do like, I wanted this break to be longer because I wanted to really, really work. I wanted to. Um, have a lot of time to myself because I've been rough since Steinovers and Video Space. Well, not private things, but just the projects were long to do. There was a lot of stuff in those two, especially in Media Space. Oh my god. There was a lot of things, those two projects. And I wanted this break to be this long to relax myself myself from these two projects. And that's why I'm going to do a break in November because I need to relax after those two of the projects that I'm going to do. Some of times, the other I won't tell. But as you guessed it, two projects after to give you some to the thing. What comes after some vibes? There's September that comes. And I'm going to do a second present, and then I'm going on the deck. I'm gonna give you guys some thoughts. I'm gonna give you guys some things to think during sunrise. I don't want you guys to stay, you just like to watch my video. I want you guys to think about what's gonna happen after sunrise. You know, I wanna give you guys some time to theorize about what happened in sunrise. Because I won't tell the project that will happen after some vibes. I think some people already guessed it. But I'm still gonna not say it. And I'll only gonna say what I'm doing too. And the end of August. So yeah, a lot of wait before I'm actually going to post a trailer or teaser for the project. And you guys will be surprised about what I'm going to do in the other project because everything changes after Summer Vibes 2 you know I want to make a lot of changes in my YouTube channel too I want to make some changes in my bedroom like a lot of the changes that I want to do in my life but right now some things not that I don't like but there's some things to change to feel the energy on myself I sometimes just want to feel something else like I said Sometimes, I just need to feel another type of energy. Because I thought feel the same energy for a long time. Sometimes, I just... I don't know, I just say, stay bored. You know, I wanna do something. I wanna change some stuff. I wanna feel like the energy is up all the time, you know? I don't want... To stay in a certain energy forever. I'm a person that, if for a long time I'm in a certain state, then I want to change it all because I want to feel something else from the inside of myself. You know, I'm a person like this. I'm not a stable person. I, I want to change up some things. I'm. I have some phases. Yeah, I call in those type of things faces like for a while i watched a lot of devil make my videos but then i stopped watching it why because it was a face i have a lot of faces that i like watching and stuff then it goes away and i'm watching everything the 
it's mostly that that happens to me. But it's why I'm why I'm saying this to you is to not get you guys worried about myself if I change all the things. It's not that I don't like what I did it every time. I just want to feel at a certain energy. And sometimes I want that energy to come back. So That's why I'm doing all this stuff. What? Sorry, that was my, my roommate. But yeah, this is what's going to happen in our lives. I'm going to change a lot. It's also some stuff that I'm going to come back. My person who likes to change my energy a lot of times, sometimes I just want the energy to come back from So, I'm doing a video with my fans. What did you hear? Okay. Strange. Sorry about that. But yeah, what I was saying is that I just like to feel some different energies in myself. I, I, I really like to change my energy when I feel that something is wrong inside of me. I'm just tired of saying something. But that doesn't mean I don't like it anymore. I just want to change. And sometimes I want incident energy to come back. So I do certain things to feel again happy. And this is also what happened back in 2022 when I had a long, long three months that I was typically down, you know? And I figured it out it's because there are some things that I didn't like about my channel and there are some energy that I was tired of living or, or the way that was working on my channel was actually to be down to pieces. So that's why in June 2022 I created Master Black Trails to change my mind of things. To feel a different energy. And it works. The Master Black Trails is definitely the same thing that saved my channel to go down. You know? Because if I didn't do Master Black Trails, the channel would probably have been shut down. And yeah, and because of Master Black Trails, I continue to do some videos, and now I'm doing more and more things. And also, in 2023, I decided to make a break in June to not tire myself up. Yeah, I'm really like to do some videos, but sometimes giving a break will avoid you to go a metal breakdown like I did at 22. That didn't help my channel a lot. Even Jimu actually noticed that I haven't posted a lot of videos. <laughs> and when I actually posted a high score support the first video, she said, oh my god, you've been inactive for a while. And but, well, she didn't say that, but her comment what well, her comment said yeah i have actually made me fun of this and she made me realize that i didn't post a thing like a wow you know i've been down i didn't put lots of videos like i was down i was about to shut the channel down but when i actually saw I completely forgot what I was about to say, but don't worry about it. Yeah, what I was saying is that when I saw that Jiwoo actually posted a comment that made me think of that way, I was like, oh my god, I didn't post that. Thanks for a while, you know? 2022 wasn't a good year for my channel, and yet in the Halloween 
the dream month of Halloween project. In the month of October, I was actually going down, so... 2022 wasn't my best year, just to say. And I actually know that it wasn't my best year. Don't worry about it. I, I know. I know that wasn't my best year. But I'm actually planning to uh, and back in time I actually said to my possibility for the illusions, hey, Mario, you need to do something else to get your channel one. You need to take some breaks. And I've learned from that mental breakdown, I actually learned something from that. That I need to take some breaks. I need to get a schedule for my channel. I need to organize my things on my channel so that everything work in our time as well. But just when that's when free and a lot of changes happen because I didn't want to go any mental breakdown stunts. Which is also why I did a one month of break in June 2. So that you guys well but it's mostly for myself so that I won't go to a mental breakdown because of my 12 hour project. Sometimes there's gonna be a lot and a lot of stuff, but there's not going to be stuff that I'm going to tire myself up because a lot of videos will be prepared in advance in my drum break. Yeah, I know it's a drum break supposed to relax now, but I can also prepare some things in advance for some time so that I don't stress myself up for videos. No, in the YouTube channel, you're not supposed to be stressed out for something, which is why I prefer some of stuff like this. You know, in, I know, I know, I'm, I'm a genius. And the games that you, that you noticed on my phone before I actually got some of the I did that on purpose to show all the games to make you guys think about what will happen to survive. Are those games on my phone going to be recorded? Or will be a blog about it? Hmm. If I roll guys, I will think of that. You know, post some things in your schedule so that you can watch my video. Hmm, hint, hint, hint. Just to say, it wasn't for nothing that I showed some games before going on some blessed things. And for nothing. I'll let you guys think about it. About that. Hmm. Anyways, on July 1st, I'm going to post a uh, Kinva post on my channel about what will happen in Summer Vibes in a sort of summary about what happened in Summer Vibes. And I won't tell in details because the summary will have like, like what will happen in the week in the Summer Vibes. Because yeah, in the Summer Vibes, I won't do the last year that like, and every week there's something new, like it's an team thing. But this year, I want to do like a sort of chaotic organized project. <laughs> I know that it's fair to say, but it's a chaotic organized project. Everything is organized, everything is chaotic in the same time. I'm just going to think about it. It's going to be some uh, on July 1st. I'm going to post a canvas summary about what will happen in every week in the uh, in July and also August. A summary about what will be posted in the time. Okay. I hope you guys look at that picture when we're gonna be July first. And yeah. I suppose I can game play videos so long, but I no longer have ideas of what I'm going to say. <laughs> well, I just enjoy the gameplay. Then. Well, by now I'm actually doing my money, money, money <laughs> catching. Because I have to get 5,000 points to actually get my gift. My gift. I did it So yeah, that's what I'm doing. You just enjoy the music at the same time too.
something to talk to. Actually, for the cat. Well, you know, Hello, the Boss, the film mode episode. I ain't gonna talk about Polo Guitar because I haven't seen it yet because I'm already recording the video on the night. But probably for other videos in July or another video and uh, after the jump break, we we'll probably gonna see some stuff about Polo Guitar. Well, Hello, the Boss film mode. It was a Calic, a little bit of Calic video, uh, an episode. Spoilers alert! I'm going to tell some spoilers. So, spoiler alert! The channel is VZ Pop. If you want to see the episode before I actually uh, get into this part of the video. So, in the last film moon episode, technically, Blitz was followed by Cherubs. And the gems was sent were sent by the dwarf and gents to actually get Blitz into her lab. And the cherubs followed Blitz away. And you guys are saying, why the girl followed Blitz anyway? Well because Blitz was being on his full moon direction and it and Curtis He was in the film room transaction with his with the main thing. Blitz was going to give his book, the scholar's book, back to him in his film room transaction. And while he was on his road to buy some stuff or stories and all, I want some of the details. Well, the cherubs followed him to kill him. I don't. I'm not sure if we're, what's going to kill him, but I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to do something to Blitz. They actually stalk him everywhere, and even the AMP, you know, Maximilian and Luna actually attack the Cherubs because they have actually noticed that we followed Blitz. So yeah, and, we, and also at the end, scenes of Filmo, I didn't cry. But it was one interesting thing because typically Solis gave a gave a and not and, and a small hint for the blitz. Is but in crystal is a crystal you can travel uh, in every uh, part of the universe that you want and well in every place that you want and he gave that to Blitz. Without a lot of explanation, that scene, one tell you there, I don't want to tell too much further, it was insane. People who have watched this episode understand what I mean. Like, uh, and the episode actually left with a clean hanger where Blitz is outside of Polo's house and is confused of why he actually is out. You guys will understand why. The episode, uh, the, the episode, you know, you will know what I mean. And I'm actually excited for Herman Boss after like the tower episode. Because a lot of Terry's have been said that Blitz will apologize to Stolis. And also, if Stolis will apologize to Blitz, we're also guys gonna be it's gonna appear because he might apologize to Blitz. And I uh, Terry said that the uh, people will be back in College Tower. And a lot of people say that Barbie, with twin sister, is actually gonna come back. Because she was actually on the bosses in top of the pipe. She's going to be back on the College Tower to apologize to Blitz and Blitz to apologize to her. And a lot of people have been saying that Blitz will get a sort of stressful situation, you know, when it works with him and actually get him to memorize some stuff from his past. That's actually insane. Like, Apology Tower would be full of stuff. If all the times that people have been said would be in Apology Tower, that would be one full episode. It would be full of stuff. 
other things to think about at the end too. So. <laughs> but I'm just excited to see what will happen in college because I don't know if you guys know about it in the video actually so there's a verse of course and probably not gonna really much of gameplay but the other verse of the first gameplay video. Because Nemo Jam is what it is. So, but the first is technically for 12 plus people. Kids can play, but technically for 12 plus people, so I'm not worried about that. Also, kids, if you watch this one about, uh, I mean, some the first videos, uh, this one was the first video, and actually here, this one of the boss part, just don't watch the boss because it's for adults and teenagers. You don't watch it on the bus. I don't. I'm not worried that you kids actually hear this part of the video, but I don't want you kids to watch to the bus because it's not for your kids. It's more like teenagers and adults. You can actually ask your parents to actually explore what the other bus is for them, and that and parents could tell them uh, what the other bus is and why it isn't for kids. I suggest parents to do that if they watch this video to actually watch a little bit what well, you know look at some stuff on Google and what is the boss. If the kid watch this watches this video, then they will know after what is the boss they follow up on after the other boss episodes can be traumatized. I suggest your parents to look at that. Because this video is for kids, but where for the bus thing, I should get parents to do that. Search for what is another bus and actually uh, tell the kids if they watch this video what is another bus and why it isn't a for kids. So that's it for this another bus little thing that I want to speak about. Now let's enjoy. Black. I'm almost finished in a way, so that will be a great thing. Here we go, I'm finished. After finishing of the ads, then this video will be finished.
Okay, so this is the end of this video, guys. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content of Subway Surfers and also to see more content about some vibes in my Hollywood box. Comment down, comment down below about what you think of the video of other things. Um, share this video, this channel to anyone you like or want to see it. And all that said, thanks for watching and see you to another Subway Surfers video. Bye guys! Happy Play Month!